If you are looking to get a little more efficient in recording and editing your podcast, you want to check out Riverside. So I've got the DaVinci Resolve podcast, recently recorded episode 13 here, and I used Riverside to do it. I just want to show you some of the features and tools that it's got that help make editing your podcast super easy. Try Riverside for free by clicking the link in the description down below. And if you decide to make a purchase, use the code JasonY to save yourself 15%. So one of the first things is that it records in high quality audio and video and uploads it to Riverside. And it's going to do it for you as well as any guests that you might have on your podcast. So I like that. We're going to get high quality because when we're putting stuff out on the internet there, whether it's just audio or audio and video... I want the best quality that I can get out of the equipment that I've got. So that's the first thing. You, it records everything. I'm loving that. Now let's jump on to Riverside here. So you could just take a look and check out what we get once we make our recording. So in Riverside here, I'm on Google Chrome and I've gone ahead and logged into my account and I have a podcast studio that I set up here. And right here is our DaVinci Resolve podcast episode 13. So I'm going to go ahead and jump inside that project. Now I've already recorded it. It's uploaded the audio, the video, it's all there. And now I've got lots of options on how I can work with this file. So I can allow AI to do the work for me, right? So you don't even have to do any of the work. But some of the cool things that I like is if I scroll down a little bit here, I've got magic clips where it will automatically go through my podcast and pull out different sections of the video that I can make shorts or TikToks or vertical form video out of. So you can set up your workflow here. You can tell it what ratio you want to use. You can tell it what kind of layout you want it to use, the duration, whether you want it to be fast paced or slow. You've got different options here on how you can set all that stuff up. You can also edit the full episode right here. If I say set up workflow, again, we're going to have the same options here. You can select what format you want it to be in. If you're only doing audio, you can do that or you can do video. I always upload my podcast to Spotify as a video. So that way, if people want to watch the video, they can. But you can set it to be edited however you want it to be edited. And you can even do it from scratch and just do all of your own edits. But let's say I want to come into my main podcast here. I'm going to click on edit. Now, when I'm in the actual editing screen here on Riverside, I can go through and just select words and delete them. I can select spaces or pauses. It'll tell me how long that pause was. If I just hover over it there, a four second pause. So I'm going to have to delete that because I don't want any pauses in there, right? So I can just hover over it and hit delete or backspace and it's gonna get rid of it for me. You've got your whole timeline down at the bottom here where you can scroll through. It's kind of done some AI work to label the different sections of your video and all this is adjustable if you want to, but if you don't want to adjust it, it's already done for you, which is pretty sweet. Now, if I wanted to hear a certain part of my podcast to check it, I can just click right here and then hit play or spacebar. Welcome to the DaVinci Resolve podcast, guys. It's getting to the end of 2024 here, trying to get out another podcast. Okay, so I want to just get rid of everything before this welcome. So all I have to do is select it, bring it all the way up, and I'm going to hit my delete key. Boom, it's gone. It's going to automatically take that out for me. Editing, done. So you essentially have the entire transcript of the entire video right here that you can look through. You can delete stuff, check stuff, listen to it, and change it however you might want. And if it's good to go, then you can just leave it like that. You do have your AI producer over here, which is going to do some of the work for you. Again, you can set your pace, the smooth speech, remove filler words and unwanted sounds. You can magic mute when people aren't speaking, which for me, it's just one person, so you don't have to worry about it. You can enhance the audio right here if you didn't want to, you know, download this, put it in DaVinci Resolve and do your own audio editing. You can edit the audio right here. You can also select different tracks if you have multiple people. You can apply your branding to it, right? If you have a logo or a color palette or a design or captions, however you might want to do it, you can add that in and change it and make it however you want. And once you set it up, you're going to have it so you can just apply it to every single podcast that you've got that you want to look the same. You can add some music, the captions here. You've got different presets on what the captions are going to look like. Really easy just to flip through. You can add them on. You want to do a standard one like this. Looks pretty good. You can adjust any of your text and all that. And because it's already created the transcript for you, it's all already there. All you got to do, go to where you want in your video, play through it. But it's just making changes over time. And you've got your words right on the screen there. Your captions popping right up. And if you decide, hey, I want to change it to something else, you can just click on there and change it to something else. It's as easy as that. Resize it if you want, and you're good to go. You can add in different uploads if you want to add images or videos to it. You've got different royalty-free images that are up here. You've got text you can add if you wanted to. You can label the speaker. 
put my name on there if you wanted to, you know, throw it up in the corner or something. You've got a lot of options on how you can quickly customize it and really have Riverside do most of the work for you. So you don't have to spend your time editing. You can actually spend your time making more videos. And then once you're done with your full podcast, you're happy with it, you like your captions and all that, you can come up here and hit export. And that's going to give you different options on how you can export out your file. You've got different video qualities here from 720 up to 4K. You can take off the watermark if you want, normalize your audio levels, remove background noise, and then you can export the video. If you're doing audio only, again, you've got some more options here, different formats you can choose, and then you go ahead and export out that audio. Another thing that I like is that you can share your podcast right from here by clicking on the share button and then just grabbing that link and go posting it wherever you'd like. Decide that you want to download it or create this podcast in a different format instead of 16 by 9. Just click right here. We can change it to Instagram. Now we've got Square and we can just move these guys wherever we want them. Boom, we're done really fast and really easy. But I have to say, I think my favorite part of being able to do all this is how Riverside will quickly create all those shorter clips for me. So all these little magic clips down here, it's going to go ahead and look through my video, read through the transcript, and pick out sections that are the length that I specify when I go ahead to make the clip. And what I really like about these magic clips is that I can say, okay, I want them 0 to 30 seconds, 30 seconds to a minute, a minute to a minute and a half and even longer than that if I want. So you can specify how long you want those clips to be. And then you can go in, check them, make sure it sounds good, and boom, just download them, you're good to go. You can just go ahead and post that. In order to download the files, in addition to exporting like we already talked about, we can come to uh, our show notes right here or the recording files. It's gonna bring you both to the same spot here. And we've got different keywords that it shows us. It's got all of the recorded files. So in this case, it was just me being recorded. But if you had multiple participants, that will be in there. You can download the transcript if you want that. But everything that's part of your recording is going to appear right here. And you can download it in high quality. And they even give you some uh, images down here, some social snapshots, right, that you can flip through. And maybe you want to use that for something. So these are all just little things that help make the process of putting together your podcast a little bit easier. So you can focus on the fun stuff talking into the mic, getting your podcast done, interviewing people, in my case, talking about DaVinci Resolve and sharing the tips and tricks with you guys, answering your questions, but being able to speed up the podcast and not have to do the little tedious things like put in all the subtitles and do all these different things makes it really easy to create the podcast, get it edited and post it out for the world to see or listen to. A big thank you to Riverside for sponsoring today's video. I've been enjoying using their service. Really like that it cuts up my long form video into those shorter vertical formats so then I can just post them either on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube shorts, wherever I might want to put them. But it takes all that work out of there for me so I don't have to do it myself. I can focus on the fun stuff like recording more podcasts, answering your questions, um, but not only does it work good for a podcast, it's also good for any video that you think you might want to chop up, right? And make, you know, other short form content out of a long form uh, video, for example. So if you're interested, check it out. I'll leave a link in the description down below. Again, a big thank you to Riverside for sponsoring today's video. And with that said, I'm off to make some more videos for you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.